This is the simplest method for staining chromosomes and uses a combined stain and fixator. The method is useful for mitotic counts and for examining chromosome morphology in both meiosis and mitosis. This is a male locus just to Turkey gigaria, fixed in acetic acid or alcohol. Dissect the insect abdomen from the dorsal side. Remove the testes, which should be separated from their covering of fat. Only a small amount of material is required, and this should be used as rapidly as possible to prevent the drying. Place a small piece of locus testes, about 1 cubic millimeter, in 2 to 3 drops of acetic arsine. Stain or fixate in a solid watch glass. Leave the material in acetic arsine for about 8 to 10 minutes. Transfer the tissue to a cover slip standing on 2 to 3 thicknesses of filter paper. Add one drop of fresh stain. Gently place a clean glass slide over the cover slip. Place 2 to 3 thicknesses of filter paper over the slide and squash firmly with the thumb. Be careful not to move the slide and evenly distribute as a single layer of silk should be produced. Warm the slide over a low Benson flame for about 4 to 5 seconds. The slide should never become so hot as to be uncomfortable to touch. Examine your preparation under the high power objective for stages in spermatogenesis. The Schistocherica gigaria male has 23 chromosomes. However, the female has 24 chromosomes. During the meiosis, the chromosomes have, so the male will give us two gametes. The 11 chromosomes gametes, which fertilized with the female gametes and give us the 23 chromosomes, so it will give us the male. However, the other gametes, it will be 12 chromosomes, and it will fertilize with the female gametes and give us the 24 chromosomes, and this is, will give us the female. Rule face. Metaphase and a face only occasionally seen and it is not shown in this video Telophase Early prophase with the nucleolus is still visible and the chromosomes beginning to appear Later prophase, chromosomes deeply staining nuclear membrane disappearing Metaphase with the chromosomes lined up on the metaphase plate. Anaphase only occasionally seen with the chromosomes separated and moving towards opposite side of the cell. Telophase where the nuclear membrane reappears, the chromosomes become invisible again and a new cell wall forms. In cytokinesis, 